Welcome to two examples on how to solve a proportion. A proportion is formed when we set two fractions or ratios equal to each other, as we see here. But notice how on each proportion we have one unknown value represented by the variable x. And there are several methods to solve a proportion. For these two examples, we'll be using the method of clearing fractions, which is a common method for solving equations that contain fractions. To solve a proportion by clearing fractions, step one, we multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, which should be the least common multiple of the two denominators. If we're not able to find the least common denominator, though, we can multiply both sides by any common denominator. And then step two, we solve the resulting equation. So looking at our first proportion, notice how we have a denominator of seven and a denominator of x. Because seven and x don't have any common factors other than one, the least common multiple of seven and x, which would be the least common denominator, is seven times x, or seven x. Which means for our first step, we multiply both sides of the equation by seven x. So we multiply the left side by seven x over one, and we multiply the right side by seven x over one. And before multiplying, we'll simplify. Notice here, seven divided by seven would simplify to one, so we just have x times nine over one. Well, x times nine would be nine x. So we just have nine x equals on the right side. Notice how there's a common factor of x here. x divided by x simplifies to one. So we have seven times eight over one, which would just be 56. Now solving this equation for x, we divide both sides by nine, giving us our solution of x equals 56 ninths. 56 ninths does not simplify, and therefore this would be our solution as an improper fraction. But just in case you are asked to express a solution as a mixed number, let's review how to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. 56 ninths means 56 divided by nine. So we'll go ahead and perform this division. There are six nines in 56. Six times nine equals 54. Subtracting, we have a remainder of two which means the quotient would be six and two ninths. To form this fraction, we have the remainder over the divisor. So 56 ninths equals two and six ninths. So just be sure to express a solution in the correct form. As an improper fraction, we have 56 ninths. As a mixed number, we have six and two ninths. Looking at our second example, notice how we have a denominator of x and a denominator of six. Because x and 6 don't have any common factors other than 1, the least common multiple or least common denominator of x and 6 would be 6x. So we multiply both sides of the equation by 6x. So we have 9 over x equals 5, 6. And multiply both sides by 6x over 1. Simplifying before multiplying, here we have a common factor of x x divided by x simplifies to 1. So we just have 9 times 6, which is 54 over 1, which is just 54, equals on the right side. Notice how we have a common factor of 6. 6 divided by 6 simplifies to 1. So we have x times 5 over 1. x times 5 would just be 5x. Dividing both sides by 5. And simplifying, we have x equals 54 fifths, let's go ahead and change the order here. X equals 54 fifths does not simplify. Therefore, this is the solution as an improper fraction. But again, let's convert this to a mixed number. 54 fifths means 54 divided by five. And there's one, five, and five. Subtract, bring down the next digit. There are zero fives and four, so we have zero. 0 times 5 is 0. Subtract again. We have a remainder of 4, which means the quotient is 10 and 4 fifths. So 54 fifths equals 10 and 4 fifths. Again, just be sure to express the solution in the form requested. We have both the solution as a fraction and a mixed number. I hope you found this helpful.